Hi everyone, welcome back to Home Cool. Cool things to do at home that's not school. Today we're gonna do another fun science experiment. Now you guys at home, you can do this as well. It's super simple, but you will need your parents to buy some stuff in advance. If not, feel free to follow along and learn as I go through the experiment. Have you heard of the term molecular gastronomy? It's a really big fancy term that basically means science with our food. That's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna turn juice into solid little pearls that look like caviar. The fancy term is spherification. Let's take a look at what we need. You're gonna need vegetable oil or canola oil, a tall glass, a dropper or squeeze bottle, a third cup of juice, and half a teaspoon of agar agar. This is the stuff you'll need to order in advance. You can find it really easily online and it's not expensive. Agar agar is a type of vegetarian gelatin that comes from seaweed. This is what's gonna do all the magic for us. Now, before you start, you're gonna take about half a cup of oil, pour it in your glass and put it in the freezer. We want it to be nice and cold when we put our drops in. Next, we're gonna take our juice and our agar and pour them into a pot. Now remember, because we're using the stove, you might need to get an older sibling or a parent to help you with this next part. We're gonna take our juice and pour it into a small pot. Then we're gonna sprinkle the agar agar over top. Stir it in, bring it to a simmer. That means small bubbles. We're gonna leave it there for about two minutes so that everything is dissolved. Then we're gonna take it off the heat and let it sit for five minutes. Okay, are you ready to do some science? We're gonna take our dropper, take in a little bit of our liquid and carefully drop it into the oil. So let's take a look at what we made. I've scooped out a few of them and there we go. We've turned our liquid into little pearls. Now make sure you use the rest of your liquid and you might need to take breaks if your oil gets too warm. Now what we did was essentially the same as when you make jello. You put your gelatin into your liquid, bring it to a boil and then put it in the fridge. What we did is we forced it to become gel a lot faster by taking our liquid and putting it in the cold hydrophobic oil. Now hydrophobic means that oil hates water. It wants to repel it, push it away. That's why it didn't mix with the oil when we put the drops in. Now that you've pulled them out, you can rinse them off and then eat them. Now I hope you guys had fun with this experiment. Remember, it's called molecular gastronomy. I used fruit punch, but you guys can actually use whatever you want. You can use orange juice, you can use lemonade, you could even use iced tea. Whatever you have at home and whatever you think will make delicious little pearls. If you guys do the experiment, make sure to comment with pictures or videos so I can see your creations. Have fun everyone.